Are you ready, Blake? Yeah, but are you sure you can read my mind without a crystal ball? This is all I can find. This will work. I see a huge house with a tiger and a sports car. Really, what else? You're going to have 10 kids. Oh, really? 10? Are you sure? Shh, there's more. I see a trophy. A trophy? It says World Juggling Championship. But I never want to do juggling. The fortune teller's always right. So what else do you want now? Am I going to be famous? I see you on TV. Oh, like on Ellen? No, on the news for breaking the world record at wearing the most hats at the same time. Well, that's crazy. I would never do something like that. What did I say, Blake? The fortune teller. Is always right. Good. Let me read your palm. Your lifeline is really long. You might live to be 110. What? That's so old. You'll have lots of tattoos all over you. But I never want tattoos. Well, I guess you're going to change your mind later. I'm never going to change my mind. You're just bad at this. I bet you haven't even read all those fortune telling books. Have to. I've never been wrong. That's because it's in the future. Exactly. We're going to see you, won't we? Yeah, in a really long time. Of plenty of time to practice saying, I told you so. Oh, shut sure, up, Ellen. You can't read the future, and neither can anyone else. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You can keep going if you want. No. It's stupid. I was just making it all up. So what's for dinner, Helen the Fortune Teller? Hmm. Something from far away. Like Canada? No, across the world. Kids, I'm home. I brought Chinese. How did you know that? I didn't. Wait, how many kids do you say I'm going to have? Uh... I don't remember, let's go eat.